Hi, happy almost Valentine's Day. Sophia and, and I, and I think later Grace, are working on some Valentine's cards, some ways of um, showing love to people. We've got stickers and markers and colored paper, and you're gonna get some glitter and stuff too, I guess. There's other yeah. fun things we can do to make Valentine's cards. Valentine's Day is a fun day to tell people that we love them, that we care about them. Maybe you did something fun in school, maybe you're doing something fun at home, maybe you're decorating with hearts. Valentine's Day is just a, a fun day to share love. But we have a special opportunity of the church to share some love and some thanks with some special people in our community. The Cooperative Parish, that is a group of Methodist churches in this area, are going to be providing lunch for some essential health care workers at local hospitals. We're going to give them, I think, pizza and salad and some yummy desserts. And we're also going to give them some cards that say thank you. Thank you for all you're doing for caring for people with COVID. Thank you for all you're doing to keep us safe. Thank you for giving out vaccines. Thank you for caring for us when we're sick in other ways in this season. And so I invite you to make a card, make a few cards for them to say thank you. Thank you for caring. And we're going to collect those cards. You can have drop them off at the church, or if you need me to come and pick them up, let me know. If you want to make a card, if you have note paper at home, anything, any way to say thank you to these essential workers. So drop those off at the church in the next week. It's a great school vacation or snow day project to work on some thank you cards so that we can share our love and our care for them. In the sermon this weekend, Bishop Bickerton is going to talk about transfiguration. That's a big word for an exciting story in the Bible where Jesus takes his friends, his disciples, up on a mountaintop and there God speaks to them in the clouds. They hear the booming voice of God and God says, this is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. It's God's way of saying to the disciples, Jesus is my son and I love him. Listen to him and follow him. And in the same way that God says that to Jesus, God says that to each one of us. God says, I love you. Follow me. So Valentine's Day is one day to talk about love and share love. But really, we should be looking for ways each and every day to say I love you and thank you and I care for you for all the people around us, the people in our family, the people in our community. And in that way, we show them that God loves us and God loves them. So have fun this Valentine's Day. But don't forget to share that love each and every day. Make some cards. I can't wait to see them. And I know that those who will receive them will be so happy and so blessed to know that you are thinking of them. Let us pray. Oh God, we give you thanks for love. For the love we share with family and friends. For the love we share in the church. For the love shared in our community. Bless those who are caring for others these days. Bless them and give them strength and courage to do all that they need to do. Help us and help everyone around us to know the special love of God that loves us at all times. Thank you for calling us beloved. Amen.